Hello, everyone. My name is Madhu, and I'm truly excited to be here to meet you all in that conference. So in the world of container security, we had to choose between isolation through virtual machines or performance through sharing resources. We have been thinking about this problem, and I'm delighted to introduce you all to the Apple containerization. This past June, our team at Apple open sourced containerization framework, which enables developers to create and run Linux containers directly on their Mac with a focus on security and privacy. We introduced two key projects. One, the command line tool called Container that users can install directly on their Mac to manage containers. Second, containerization framework is allows us to build solutions like the command line tool. In order to run Linux containers on Mac OS, we need to virtualize the Linux environment. The historical solution is to spawn a large virtual machine to host all the running containers, and the resources are allocated to this virtual machine. As the containers are added, the resources are divvied up between these containers. And when you need to share additional directories from your files, these are files are shared with the virtual machine first before being provided to the specific container that requested the data. For security, having the same level of virtual machine isolation should be applied to each and every container. For privacy, limiting the access to the directories should be done on the per container basis. Only the container requesting the access should get it. And we want to hit all these goals with a highly performant experience while respecting users' resources. So for security, our goal has always been to provide the same isolation that large virtual machines have and apply them to each and every container that is, that is started. Containerization does this by running each container in its own lightweight virtual machine and still providing subsequent startup times. When sharing directories and files, only the container requesting the directory should have access to that. And resources like CPU and memory, when there are no containers running, resources are not allocated at all. So I've been saying the lightweight virtual machine. So what does this mean? So it's more aligned to the micro VM machine model. So using Apple virtualization framework, we are able to run just the minimal devices that requires for user experience, and that's it. Also, we are sizing the virtual machine just so the, what the workloads needs. So we have a lightweight virtual machine right now. So let's see what we run in it. We direct boot the Linux kernel with minimal kernel config. This helps reduce the attack surface uh, and minimizes the kernel footprint, and also makes it highly performant. So getting from reset to user space is extremely fast. Speaking of user space, let's talk about the file system and the init process. Historically, when you use a large virtual machine, they are booted as a full system. The file system of this large virtual machine will include things like libc implementation, dynamic libraries, and code utilities. For security, we want to reduce the attack surface of our containers. So the file system provided by containerization has no code utilities. It has no dynamic libraries, and it has no libc implementation either. So in order to run any process in this constrained environment where there's no libraries to link to, we need to compile the VM in D as a static executable. So with the goal of security, privacy, and performance, with a minimal kernel, direct boot, and a static purpose-built init container, and running each container in its own lightweight virtual machine, we get stronger isolation, better privacy posture, as well as resource efficiency. So to wrap it up, if you're using Mac, please try it out. And if you're a developer, please use the APIs available in containerization. You can build your own solution, or you can use the plugins to enhance container tool. Also, please join us for the Bird Services session today. 
at 2.30 PM, you can meet the developers behind this project. If the intersection of containers and virtualization excites you, please join Apple. They're also heading. Thank you very much, and have a great conference.